Alright, so now that we've successfully created our project, to ensure that everything is well in order, we're going to go ahead and run our app the first time on a simulator. But before we do that, we need to go to our toolbox and I'm going to drag a label into our view controller. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on the label and I'm going to type hello world. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and increase my label. Okay, so now let's go ahead and run this on our simulator to ensure that everything is well in order. Because we have Xcode installed on our computer, we're going to be having access to a lot of different options in terms of simulators that we can use to be testing our app. So I'm going to go to the menu bar and I'm going to click here. So this drop down is a variety of different simulators that we can use to test our app. So you can see that we have the latest version of iPhone, that's when this video was recorded. So we can see we have iPhone 11, 11 Pro, Pro Max, iPhone 8 Plus and iPhone 8. So we have the iPad Pro of different screen sizes and we have the iPad Air. So this allows you to test your app on different screen sizes. But for the purpose of this lecture, we are going to be switching between the iPhone 8 Plus and the iPhone 11, which is more like um, the predominant spec of iPhones in the market currently. So we're going to go ahead and run our app on the iPhone 11 so that we can see what we can have. So I'm going to go ahead and click on play to run our application. Okay, so our app is starting and bam! So we can see we have a hello world and an empty screen. But that's okay, in the coming classes we are going to be making our design and also setting up Firebase and then we can get into the real important stuff. So see you in the next class.